What you gotta do to get the numbers? Don't smoke, don't curse on the camera. <laughs> hey, but I see other people smoking, still get numbers. I see other people drinking, they still get numbers. I see other people cursing, they still get numbers. Stop playing with me, YouTube. I have my page before all these dirt bombs. Please stop playing with my channel. Stop playing with my YouTube. Now let me get back to what I was thinking about. Are you seeing what's going on out here today, guys? <laughs> yeah! I too, I'm going to start off by saying this. I remember telling y'all something. But anyway, I remember telling y'all something. I said, God does something with me when you mess with me and do me dirty for no reason. Now, if I did something wrong, nothing happens. My magic don't work. If I did absolutely nothing wrong and I kept it 100 with you and you did some shiesty moves, when you tell a nigga don't answer your baby's mother or a girl you're dealing with, them, them niggas are supposed to respect that, bro. Don't answer, don't pretend you didn't know who they was talking about when they said your name. Don't pretend, don't do nothing. You're a piece of shit if you're doing that out there. That's a fact. If they did nothing wrong to you, if they did something wrong to you and they messed you up or did something, stole money from you, did whatever you did, you say, you know what, I, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. But if they did absolutely nothing but love you, and be a hundred with you and be the best friend that you absolutely ever had in your life because you looking around these guys no friends uh, no friends when you got somebody like that you don't play it you don't take it lightly because you're gonna lose everything floating nowhere destination nowhere yeah this is what happens now look getting towed up tarnished at a extremely fast rate i mean you Nigga, like wrong people the wrong way. And this is the result of that. It's no coat nick, no sugar coat nick. Nicks don't want to hear nothing no nigga. Hear it. Alright? Learn it. This is the life you're in. This is the stuff you chose. All the bad decisions. It looks like I'm making some... Everybody who said, yo, Pac made all the bad decisions in a roundabout way without saying my name. He made all the bad decisions. It looks like I'm making some good decisions right now, don't it? Yo. These people's names is getting tarnished. Their reputations, their music is trash. Everything is getting tarnished. When you do people wrong for no reason, or if you have a reason, you tell a nigga the reason. Papa Show with Bim. Same way Ten Toes went up there with Bim right now. We been, matter of fact, Ten was there that time. Mav Hoffa introduces everybody on his show but me. Why you do that? How do you do that, bro? I never did nothing to you. We never had nothing where I did something to you, brother, to the extent of that. Why do that? I never did nothing to you. Nothing. You didn't like me from seeing me with cannabis running around through the years when you was battle rapping. Whatever your gripes are, I never did nothing to you, brother. Never disrespected you in my life. I, we ran into each other in front of M and MOS, whatever. First seen you, we first met. 
What up, man? What's up, bro? I never did nothing disrespectful. Never said nothing to nothing. Why would you have me on the show with Bim and introduce Bim and everybody and don't introduce me? Why would you do that? Did you not like me for something? I don't know. When someone treats you away, you got to figure out why they didn't like you. So you search your head and say, what did I do? What happened? You said, I, only thing I could come up with is when me and Cannabis was over there in the battle rap world a lot. We was doing the battle rap stuff. I don't know if you didn't like me with Cannabis, the Cannabis, the whole Cannabis brother thing and all this stuff and everything that was going on. Maybe you didn't like me from then. You got on Vlad TV after that, talking about how Cannabis lost the battle and anybody would have did that. I remember it. Anybody would have been did better than Cannabis. I remember. I don't know if you, if you didn't like me from then. I don't know what's going on. I didn't know. I don't know. I met up with you. We finally kicked it. I met you. We went to the, uh, the fast forward. Came back up. Start seeing each other again when I was with Bimmy. Go to the show. I don't know. I did nothing but disrespectful to you. Never said nothing. Uh, I got to the show. We dapped it up. I met Esso and Heineken. We took pictures. Everybody took pictures. We took pictures. I never recall disrespecting you, having nothing. Why would you do that to me? I'm trying to do stuff with my life, too. I have a life, too. Yeah, brother. Everybody, I have kids, too. People want to do stuff with their life, too. Why would you do that to me? I didn't do nothing to you. Don't remember no memories of no disses. Nothing. Nothing. I did nothing. And if you're going to do that, and you see me up there with Bim, you up there talking about 10 toes came with Bimmy. Well, I came with Bim up there, too. Why you didn't introduce me? stuff bro for no reason I tell Bim you know what Bim say oh that's some shit between you and you, you oh that must be some shit between you and him you know what I mean I come up there with you bro oh that's some shit with you and him I don't know that's some shit there must be some shit between him this game is foul this game is messed up for to people that did nothing man at least at least, at least let people do something to you. At least let people do something to you. Let people do something to you. All right, before you come with all that foul treatment and all this, all this shisty shit for no reason. And then expect a nigga to be quiet like, I wish you just say something so I can eat you on this shit. <laughs> Yo, listen. <laughs> Yo, look, <laughs> knock it off, bro. We got to do better out here, bro. Nobody did nothing until you stop doing it. And then if you're going to do that, I said to myself, why have me on the show? If you didn't want to introduce me, you don't like me or something. When Bibb said I'm coming up there and, you know, who's with me, Pac with me, such as Ten Toes with me, this the, the B.O. with me, whoever's with me, guess what? I don't like Pac. I said, I don't like Pac. Pac can't come in the barbershop. Then I could find out why. Like what did what I've done? What did I do? I never did nothing to that off. Nothing. Never did nothing. No. You never know what you did to these guys, man. They have it in their brain. And they have it in their brain and you will never know. You just gotta figure out what you did type shit. But enough of that, yo. Is that an all-time high, bro? Is that an all-time high? Let me tell you something. I got questions, man. I want to know. I got questions, yo. Where is all these people that everybody talk to, all these homies, man? Ain't nobody coming to nobody's rescue on YouTube with no videos and everything. It's quiet. It's crickets. Hey, you don't know. Everybody's a good guy. I don't understand why these people is talking like this. And everybody, and they, and shut up. Shut up. You don't know the ins and outs of nothing. You don't hang around. You ain't around. You don't know nothing. What are you doing?
put your pom poms down. Like a. <laughs> this is hilarious, yo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's those things? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Yo, look! Stop! Stop! What's those things? What's the thing that come controlling the other motherfucker that be talking? <laughs> <laughs> a man to the quiz. A man to the quiz. Like that, right? <laughs> oh God, it's so funny. I can't stop. Yo, look, this nigga. He got the strings and shit <laughs> on his hand in the back of his mouth. <laughs> It's really him telling him what to say. Yo, I don't want to do what you do. Oh, God, this is the funniest shit in the world. <laughs> stop. I got to stop, yo. I got to stop. This shit caught me bad right now on camera, yo. Oh, God. Oh, God, man. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> Yo, if you only got you got one nigga coming to the internet for your rescue. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> oh, my head is hurting, yo. This <laughs> nigga is crazy. Yo, these niggas, I can't believe niggas. Niggas, niggas, this is what niggas can't do. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, you can't be so serious. This is a big joke. Yo, this is what niggas came to, bro. <laughs> Here you got <laughs> You got ten toes down bad at ah, shit on high. You got mad. <laughs> letting it, let them come on the show. You got. Mm, 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 I'm a YouTube journalist right now. I'm a YouTube journalist. I'm, I'm, I'm covering on the news and everything. You got Hassan mad at. Then you got Hassan mad at Ten Toes and Mav Hoffa. Then you got Haas mad with Bimmy. Said he a smack Bimmy. Yo, listen, y'all crazy out here. Y'all just. Why? I can't believe everybody y'all can't get this is what y'all can't do. It's safe to say I'm making some good decisions in my life. <laughs> it's safe to say I'm making some good decisions. Oh, don't worry about my, my baby mother. She's all over YouTube now. Yeah, she's all over YouTube with, with endless stories coming about her whole life. Yeah. Endless stories about her whole life coming on YouTube. The fake church lady that had sex with the pastors and the, and the secular people in hip hop. Yeah, it's bad for her. It's bad for her right now. She gonna walk in the church and people gonna run out. She gonna walk in. She gonna start. It's gonna get to the point where her face is well known in the church. Sister Mary gonna be looking at her like, sheesh. Sister Mary gonna be looking like, woo, woo, Jesus, Jesus, help you, Jesus, Lord. Sister Mary, Sister Mary gonna be looking at her like, I pray for you. I'm gonna pray for you, girl. Silence. You know what? Niggas gonna give you the same love you gave them behind the scenes. Love. Nah, you my man, nigga. You my man. Nah, I don't love you. That's all, folks. 
<laughs> Yo, you see? You see? This is the time you huddle up and you need your day ones and you need your real ones with you and you need everybody that's really down with you, really love you, really rocking with you to, to shift this shit. You have people that come around. When you got people that you see talk to you and somebody else pull up and they tell you, I can see he's by himself. I can see he's lonely. I can see he got a bad vibe. I can see there's no love. But somebody can see that in you after seeing you for two minutes. Never been around you. Don't be around you. And they can look at you and say he's by himself. He ain't right. This shit ain't right. Nah, he ain't right. He ain't right at all. Somebody could look at you and that don't be around you and don't know you and tell you that or tell me that and tell other people that about you and be accurate, dead on. Something's wrong, man. Something's wrong. And everything that's going on YouTube is not going to get better. It's going to get worse. So if anybody sitting around thinking, that, oh, no, nah, this going to go away. It's gonna get, it's getting worse. As you see the months go by, the story is getting more intense. The the, the allegations, the the, the, the the blaming, the the, the the proof gets more coming out to the light. It's just really, really bad. It's real bad. Actually, as bad as it's ever been on YouTube, it's no respect, absolutely no respect at all. Everybody's a, a nothing. It's no statue. It's no status. All right, there we go. It's no status no more. It's no more YouTube status, nigga. That nigga talk to you just like he talked to that peasant. <laughs> yeah, it's no more status. This is what you lime yourself with. This is what you lime yourself with. Yeah. All the wrong people. Is no I this is why this is why somebody like me gets away. You know why I get away? Well, I step away when 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 I start I gotta listen to uh, everybody that's supposed to be in the same circle talk about each other. When I gotta go, I don't I'm confused. I don't know who's the I I'm going on social media like yo, is it alright to fuck with this nigga? I don't even know if it's alright to fuck with this nigga. Or don't fuck with this nigga, cause the niggas that's supposed to be at the head, the niggas that's supposed to be the the the, the, the holding shit down and run in in the in the front, the niggas that's supposed to be in the front, they doing everything wrong. There is no, is no, is no uh, is no, is no, is no order. No order, cause you had no order. You had no order. Nobody was special. There was no group of people that, yo, we don't do sucker shit to this, these groups. We do all this shit out there. And when it comes to this, we don't do none of that. A lot of y'all don't have that. And this is the result of what your ass is getting. This is the result of what you're seeing. No order. You got a nigga, you got niggas that you ain't, your ass, that your asses ain't supposed to be talking to anyway. You ain't supposed to be, you ain't supposed to be talking to them. You ain't supposed to be friends. You ain't even supposed to be answering a phone call. They never even supposed to have been able to feel comfortable talking to you, hearing your voice. Yeah, nigga. So now you're getting disrespected by the same niggas that you dumbed yourself down to, to deal with. Now you're getting disrespected by the people that you dumbed yourself down to deal with. You ain't even supposed to be talking to these niggas. You got homies like me. You got niggas like me. Real niggas ride or die niggas with you. You fuck that up and talk to him and speak. I don't give a fuck. I don't care what you did. You know the you know any nigga with these bitches, you got this shiesty ass bitch that's hurt, pissed off because you left her stinking ass. You didn't you, you left her. You showed her, okay, you want to be a smart bitch, and you left her. They hurt forever. They're your enemy forever. Your wives, your ex-wives, your current wives, your girlfriends, anybody like that turns into an enemy. It's not hard to do some shicey shits with, with these chicks that's the enemy of a nigga that left him. Everybody knows that. It's nothing fly. You didn't do nothing. You're not cute. 
You know you don't look like him. Stop. Stop. Everybody's so simple, goddamn man. That's what you get for being so simple-minded. Because there's certain people that's not even supposed to hear your goddamn voice to talk to you. So now they feel like they're on your level and they can disrespect you at any cost. You deserve it. You need somebody that let me, let me say it like this. Let me be the guy who tells all you niggers exactly what it is and is gonna help you, but it's only one rule. Don't be mad at me. Don't say, oh, oh, see him, when I see him, boy. Cause if you see me, boy, 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 you better be fast with anything. I'm only defending myself. I'm telling you, anybody plays crazy with me, I'm defending myself, I don't know. If I crack your head, you know, I was defending myself. I'm telling you right now, if I do something, whatever I've done, I'm uh, defending myself. So I'm just not defending myself, I'm not doing nothing. So that could be the deal. That could be a deal a deal maker. I'll tell you niggas the exact truth about yourselves. There's only one thing. Don't be mad, nigga. Don't be mad at me when I tell you. Don't be mad. Take it on the chin and take it as advice and learn from it. And say, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna look at that. I'm gonna take a look at that. That's what I do. Somebody tell me anything wrong and hate me. I don't care if they're screaming at me. Ah. I'm listening to what they said. I'm taking up and take up and listen to that. Take that, you know, take that into consideration. They might be helping me. Yeah. So that'd be the deal. Just not knowing which way to go or, or, or who to be loyal to and who to love and who to have in your goddamn corner. I'll tell you all the truth. Just don't be mad at me. Where's all these niggas? If you're the type that's in beefs, YouTube beefs, and you only got one or two people, you need more people. Speaking of your defense. It's getting bad. These videos is popping up. It's not looking good. Okay? This is the reality of it. If we can live in a dream world, what you want the 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 It's bad out here. It's bad out here. You see what's going on. Do you see what's going on? I expose, expose her. Don't all the guys with baby mothers that foul? Yeah, this is the new trend right here too. All the guys with baby mothers that foul, that did you dirty, and you're ashamed. You're ashamed to, to expose them because this has something to do with you. And that you're ashamed to put it out. Don't be ashamed. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You you got with a shiesty bitch, disloyal, you backstabber, and they need to be exposed. Everybody needs to be exposed. Let the little church girl have thousands and thousands of views of people looking at her stupid face and knowing the type of bitch she is. Yeah, that's the new devil. Don't be ashamed, my guy. You got many girls you're gonna be with. Expose that bitch. Okay? Expose that fake friend. That nigga is this why you got away from a pack? Yeah. Yeah. Fake friendship. Fake friendship shit, yo. Let alone, look, I can ride with you. We could be doing plays. And not getting I'm the most loyalist person in the world. We could ride together for years, as I've been doing with niggas, and not get no money. And I'm with you. This is wrong. This is the love. This is we could go through whatever. As long as in our circle we got real love, I go through it whatever with you. Okay, we, we ain't getting a dollar. We're going to go through it together. We got real love. We ride. Nigga. Yeah, that type of style. If you're not on that type of mode, get out of here. You got to get away from me. I don't want to see your nasty face. I don't care if we are getting money. There's no love. Get out of here. So you mean to tell me people supposed to stick around from with no love and getting no money? I can't but I'm disappointed. They lost it. It's a hard pill to swallow. See what see this is what people don't realize in this world. If you end up with fifty thousand dollars after having a million. 
you failed. Yeah, that fifty gonna look good. Or oh, hundred thousand. Yeah, that fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollars gonna look real good. You're gonna still have the jewelry, you're still gonna have the whip, you still gonna have uh clothes, you're still gonna be able to get dressed for the day in front. But you just had three million dollars. Shout out to Rizza. You got the Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Wow. I am so disappointed. It's just a big bowl of bull crap right now at this point. It looks crazy from the out. I'm so glad I'm on the outskirts looking in. This is this is the feeling of making the right decision in your life. This is what it looks like. So anybody who's looking, like, comment, and subscribe. Put on your next TV. There's a lot going on over here. I'm exposing a lot. I'm exposing fake friends that get get the short end of the stick in the long run. I'm exposing uh these fake bitches, these women that act pretend to be quiet, do they dirt on the low. No, there's no more on the low for you. Everything you do is going to be on YouTube, social media. Strangers is going to be looking and knowing your story. Yeah. That time now, you you need to run out. Some of these bitches need to run. You need to make have them run out the church. Run out the church. As soon as anybody looks at you, you're gonna feel funny. You don't know why they're looking at you. Are they looking at you because they seen you on YouTube? Did they hear your story? They know about your pastor situation. The the hip hop because the kids and this that and the third. Nope, I'm a different nigga. I'm different. I don't care about none of that. Once you show me. You're not on my side. Why the hell should I be on yours? You show all these people the most loyalty in the world. They don't care. <coughs> they don't care. <coughs> why should I care? I don't care. <coughs> and that's why everything that's happening. When that backstabbing shiesty bitch reaches out to you to tell you something about him don't ever answer don't pretend like you don't know who it was do is this don't do nothing all that shit don't work at all let me tell you the pretending you don't know the name and nothing nothing works man trust me don't answer the bitch. And if you was to answer, it would have to be in an angry way. Like, listen, let me tell you something. I don't know who you are. I don't know what your, what your goal is. Don't ever in your fucking life call me again about him. Ever in your life, I don't know you, lady. Don't try no. Sh what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What did you do? What you try to? That's what you want. Don't answer nothing. nothing. Don't help him out. To all homies out there that's buddies, if you got love for your bro and you want to be in his life for any time, unless you really expecting, yo, I don't want to be in his life no more and fuck him, I don't want to see him again, unless you're expecting that, don't answer that bitch. Because once you answer, no matter what you did after that, you finished. No matter if you just spoke. No matter what you did. You finished. So, this is the result of that. Be careful. Be careful. Everybody knows the tricks. 
the bitch don't got see these backstabbers let me tell you they don't got no other form of getting the person back but coming back to that person with a story they gotta use a story to be a reason why they're talking to them they gotta they gotta use a story that's the introduction the introduction always gotta be a story about something else of why you're talking to them i just want to tell you that this did stop right there bitch did you lose your mind did you just lose your mind you trying to make me get into a situation with my man, my right hand, and and and, and, and you know I, you. So that mean you you don't you don't care about me neither. You know we gonna be we not be over, and you purposely trying to do it. Yeah, this gonna mess them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna break them up. That's what girls thing is with the guy. They can break up two friends. They can break up somebody that's real cool. Ride or die. They know about you being together. You could have been making millions together. Something could have triggered. And yeah, nigga, they up together. They don't want to see that. That bitch don't want to see that. And the other nigga going to be happy to do it because he's thinking in the moment. He's not thinking about the long term. He's thinking about, yeah, I'm going to get some pussy. You think about yeah, we get some pussy, bro. I'm good. Not good. You just fucked up your homie that love you for real. A real nigga you need that's way more valuable to you than this piece of bullshit, bitch. After you finish with, you ain't ever gonna be rocking with. What y'all gonna go get married? What people do? That sounds stupid, bro. Who would do that? Who would do that? I'm gonna tell y'all is the YouTube streets is crazy. The dirty section of YouTube is going on fire with the disrespect. It's like a roller coaster. You don't know who's who now. You don't, it's to the point, if y'all paying attention to YouTube, look at it. You don't know who's who. What Jay-Z said? Looking at two people argue from afar, you don't know who's the dummy. That's what Jay-Z said a long time ago. My favorite, one of my favorite rappers. I'll never forget it. If you looking at people argue from afar, you don't know who's who. So I want to tell y'all, all of y'all out there on YouTube arguing back and forth, looking like bozos. None of y'all look smart. Don't none of y'all. Let me let me let me let me be the the bearer of bad news. None of y'all. I just want you to know because I know inside people's brain they think that they the one that seem like they're saying the most smart stuff and they look the smartest and they come off the most smartest and the most intelligent and the most successful. Guess what? No. You know who look like the smartest? You know who look like the most intelligent? You know who look like the big dog that's growing at a extremely fast rate that already been a part of everything I'm not excited about nothing Listen, nothing to me i'm back you know who that is me 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 hold on y'all don't understand it <laughs> you'll never figure it out <laughs> ah! yeah remember and then i'm gonna come back and play this video of from this date and it's gonna be the proof, this right here, me talking, is gonna be the proof of what I was saying. Everything that I say is correct. All right? So, yeah, man, y'all gotta get up. I'm loving it. What we got going on next? What do we got going on next? I can't wait to see. But I just wanna tell y'all, I got so much more coming. It's endless. Like, comment, subscribe, foot on your neck TV. I'm the greatest pack. The, great, the greatest to ever do it. They call me Pac. If you don't know me. All right. My name is Pac. Pac-Man. But it's Pac now. Classic Pac. All that. Everything included. A.K.A. Billy Blanco. Ha <laughs> ha. Guess what? Let me tell you one thing before I leave. If I love you. Don't take it lightly.